hi guys what's up uh, today I'm going to show you how we can have a webhook trigger a Jenkins job all right so I've already showed that uh, in the previous uh, videos and then how to create a token so now what we are going to do is after this job is run we want to update the commit status in github right so how do we do that so that's what I'm going to show you today and uh, please watch the other videos also because uh, this kind of ties up all of those other videos so this is what I'm talking about we basically want something like this like a tick mark or a red X which is going to tell us that you know uh, it's passed it, um, fail and then they can click here and go to the job all right so they can click here and go to the job details and read why the check has failed and then they can do the corrective actions all right so what we're going to do is in the last video uh, we created a token right so we are going to go to Jenkins and configure Jenkins first so we go to manage Jenkins go to configure system okay and then you need to scroll down to the part where it says github right and I'll just delete this because I want to show it to you again. Okay. And so I'm just going to go here to the GitHub section. Oh, sorry. Configure system. I need to go there again. Okay. So I don't know why it's not getting deleted. Uh, but what we'll do is just click here okay it's going to put this by default you can just put this uh, as a reminder whatever you want to know about your github uh, github all right for credentials what you need to do is click on add click on Jenkins here you need to select secret text right and you need to enter the token that we created in the previous video so you just go in here enter the token and then you just need to know some ID or token and then token okay so it doesn't want spaces in this so. okay and then click on add once you do that uh, it's going to allow you the option to select the token you, that you just created select that okay and just test your connection great so now it says that the credentials are verified All right now we go back to our Jenkins job that we created in the first video let me just save this Now it's going to give me some error, but that's okay. All right. So now we go to the Jenkins job that we created in the previous video. Go to configure. Okay. Go down to the post build action. Select this option, the universal option, which sets the GitHub commit status. And just keep all the options like they are. Okay, you can have a manually entered context name like for example you can type in Umar or Uru, okay and then have different options or different logics out here okay uh, and you need to select this to be the default messages okay and that's all that's all you need to do you need to click apply you need to click on save so if you see here we have five commits now okay so what I'm going to do is go in here and you see the previous ones didn't have a tick checkbox this one did because I did one uh, before recording and now I'm going to go here I'm going to edit this file again Okay. 
and this should trigger a new job okay mm -hmm. it did great and once this job's completed it should update the git comment status with a tick mark so let's see if it's doing that i just need to go to the repo click on comments and it did do that great so now what i can check is is it the same job so for example this is job number six right so i need to go here i need to do click here umar faru job number six that's right and i can just check the detail so in our case we don't have any logs but that's fine all right i hope this helps thanks guys bye